Hi Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea, and this reading we are going to find out who will you be in your next serious relationship with. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 20th of March, 2023. Time here in Genoa, Italy is um 4 26 p.m all right uh please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for virgo taurus and capricorn and if you were to find guided to watch this video this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same signs all right now let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for virgo taurus and capricorn who will they be in the next serious uh next serious relationship with Please bear in mind that if you've already met this person, you may resonate, but if you haven't met this person yet, you're not going to resonate with this reading, okay? Wow, King of Pentacles, perfect. And we've got the last card, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So you, the person you're gonna be in your in a very serious relationship next. It's not just a serious relationship. It feels like you're gonna end up marrying this person. At least moving in, starting a family together, marriage or not. Not everybody believe. Not everybody believes in marriages. One second, please. <coughs> Suddenly it felt like my throat was really dry, but also I'm recovering from being sick. Anyway, Ten of Pentacles here is definitely a marriage card for me. This is uh, a long-lasting union, long-lasting marriage. If it's not marriage, again, not everybody believes in marriages or being married. So, um, also a very abundant union. <coughs> Oh my gosh, sorry about that. But, there is a but here. Just give me a second. This is somebody... I'm just drinking some water. This is somebody that you gotta like... Tell them... What you want, what you don't want. You're gonna set your boundaries. And this is somebody who is like... Who needs to step up. Because we've got the page of wands here in reverse. So this person could be younger than you are or may seem kind of immature, childish, or not ready to commit. Or maybe it doesn't matter whether they're ready to commit or not, but more so like the mentality is like much younger. Perhaps had a little bit of a Peter Pan syndrome or just... I feel like... Or whatever the case is, it feels like they need to... You, you may demand them, whether you demand it to them like blatantly or just indirectly this is somebody whom have you heard of that saying that saying that you make me a better man you make me want to be a better man or a better woman doesn't matter he or she's not gender specific but you make this person feel like they need to step up. They need to be a better person. They need to be a better partner. Because of the Page of Wands and and also the King of Pentacles here, that means they're going to step up, right? From the Page of Wands to the King of Pentacles. So finally, not only that, it's not just that, but also another thing that I'm seeing is that maybe there's somebody who likes to travel or explore or somebody who doesn't really kind of stick around. And they may just want to finally decide to settle down and to commit to you, right? Again, this person can be any sign, but definitely strong Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Page of Wands here, Fire Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Again, roles can be reversed. So Ace of Pentacles, yep. 
this is not just a serious relationship. Um, feels like it's gonna turn into way more than that. Um, this person might propose to you, might offer you. This is a ring, yeah. By the way, the pentacles. Sometimes I do read it as a ring. So perhaps they're gonna propose to you. Both of you are gonna get married. Ten of Pentacles. Hey, can't get better. Any better than this one? Ten of Pentacles is a long-lasting, stable, committed relationship, marriage, growing old together. So there's gonna be that person, okay? Unless you're gonna go through this page of pentacles and uh sorry page of wands and reverse and some sort of reverse some of you your next relationship will be with somebody who lies and cheats and you might find out and then once you break up with them or end the connection with them and then the next one would be it because you know there's a different version you just take what resonates with you but See, the tower here is in reverse, two swords, ten of wands. I would say you're going to end up um, getting into a serious relationship with somebody who is very resilient, very hardworking, somebody who has a lot of responsibilities. Eight of wands is definitely good news. Somebody who travels a lot or travel for work. Seven of swords in reverse indicates that this is also somebody very transparent. And they will only have eyes on you, two swords here. It's, you see, the eyes are like bound, right? So that means they only see you. They're only interested in you. They don't care about anybody else. They don't want anybody else. Because maybe you've set your standards some way, shape, or form in the Queen of Swords here, right? Tower in reverse. Also, maybe there's somebody who is afraid of drama, who is afraid of you know, an ending or doesn't want an ending with you. So they'll do the best that they can to um, to maintain this connection, to be loyal to you, to be a reliable, dependable, dependable partner. Yeah, this is actually really good. For Taurus and Capricorn, this is actually really, really good. I sense them being very sincere. So again, two versions of this storyline, right? The first one would be somebody who's like, Maybe they want to stick around or and then they know that they can't do that with you and eventually they settle down with you, um, offer you commitment. Could be a change, right? A transformation from the page of wands and reverse to king of pentacles. But also the second version will be after you end it with this person who who may have a lot of cheated on you or that it didn't work out, that this person may have been very um selfish and then and then after this one is when you're gonna meet this other one here in the king of pentacles most likely somebody older than you are or about the same age actually king of queens of well, sorts king of queen about the same age if not if they're younger they embody a lot of maturity okay or that they just grew up basically Page of Swords, see, this could be, this person could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Again, King of Swords here. I still feel like there will be a period of time where there's like a bit of a separation and happiness between you and this person. And then, and then they're going to change and they're going to decide, okay... I need to do the right thing with the King of Swords. I need to do the right thing for Virgo, Taurus, or Cap and Capricorn. Unless, again, it is that one person you're going to reject, you're going to leave behind Eight of Cups, and you cut this person off, and you're embodying the King of Swords here because you're not happy, and then you're going to meet that one person here who's going to give you all the security it's going to give you um, a future, like a stable future. It's going to grow old with you. Somebody who plans a lot. Somebody who already has money or will be or will end up making a lot of money, okay? I mean, Ten of Wands, someone very strong, very resilient. The Eight of Wands, somebody who keeps moving, very active and, you know, has a very it's very smart too king king of swords you're very smart very 
uh, financially smart as well. Very good with money, I would say. If they're not good at money now, they are going to be good with money later. Because again, there's a page here, right? And then the kings, it feels like something about growing up here, okay? Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is your reading. And I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you feel if you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos. And also, um, yeah, feel free to subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. On, on my latest channel, Chelsea Tarot 2.0, is the only channel that where I will only post individual sign readings. Alright, take care. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.